Breaking news from DC. Trump just made border wall deal. Many ideas have swirled about who will pay $21 billion to make President Trump's most important campaign promise come true. Some of them failed, but this one won't. There's an unexpected hero coming forward with the finances to take care of the cost once and for all. Even though we wish the idea of El Chapo's cash covering a large part of the expense, Ted Cruz's proposition for this wasn't a possibility. Although the construction of the wall is already underway, it could be finished much quicker than it was expected. Building a big, beautiful wall on the southern border was President Donald Trump's signature promise during his campaign, winning him support from advocates for hardline immigration reform. According to our source, Freedom Daily, Trump restated his promise to make Mexico pay for his wall, suggesting that they would do it by renegotiating NAFTA. They can pay for it indirectly through NAFTA, Trump said in an interview with The Wall Street Journal on Thursday. We make a good deal on NAFTA, and, say, I'm going to take a small percentage of that money and it's going toward the wall. Guess what? Mexico's paying. I can tell you I think the American market would go up if I terminated NAFTA and renegotiated a new deal, the president said. He threatened to terminate NAFTA unless they could reach a renegotiation of the trade deal, saying that he was waiting until after the presidential election in Mexico. I understand that a lot of things are hard to negotiate prior to an election, he said. They have an election coming up fairly shortly. I understand that makes it a little bit difficult for them. If NAFTA doesn't work out, the financing problem could soon be solved if Alabama Senator Luther Strange get his way. Strange discussed his idea of where this much-needed wad of cash could come out. Those who want immigrants in this country don't seem to have an issue with paying for them to be here, so they should be okay with footing the bill to keep them in their country. Strange explained that the funds should come directly from so-called sanctuary cities who don't follow the law. This would be a fine for going against the president, not cooperating with local people refusing to turn immigrants in and preventing people from bidding on the border wall. The senator's simple solution is that cities who refuse to comply with the nation's law are not going to get the money that they expect from the government because it's going to go to building the wall. Scroll down to the comments and tell us what you think, you think.